Hello everyone, I'm Dennis from Boulder Sounds. In this video, I will be showing you how to extract multiple .rar files into one sound library after you've downloaded them from the website. I'll also explain to you the difference between the Contact free player and the full retail version of Contact. And I'll also demonstrate how you can install our libraries into the full version of Contact. So if you look at my desktop here, you'll notice I have pure mandolin, and I have two files, part one and part two. These are .rar files. The utility we can use to extract this on a Mac is called RAR Expander. There's numerous programs for the PC to do this. There's numerous ones for the Mac. I just personally like this one. And these are typically free utilities. Um, so what you do is, what you don't want to do is try to open both files when you have a multi-part file. You just want to choose part one. And then if you double click on that or open it, it'll say, where do you want to save this to? We're going to save it to the desktop. So as you can see now, it is extracting the various files. And let's fast forward now to having them extracted. Okay, so now my multi-part RAR file has been extracted to this folder on my desktop called Pure Mandolin Boulder Sounds. If I open that up, it has an outer folder, and then I can open up that folder within. And you can see it has documentation, instruments, and samples. So what I'll do is just open the instruments folder, and uh, I'll load this into Contact 6. But before I do that, one distinction that's important to recognize Notice here in the left-hand corner of Contact 6, it just says Contact. That means it's the full retail version of Contact. How do I know if I have uh, the free player as opposed to that? Here's the free player. What does it say in the left-hand corner? It says Contact Player. So this is a free player. Um, and my libraries and many other third-party libraries, at this point in time at least, are not compatible with the contact player. It'll time out after 15 minutes, which will be extremely frustrating to you and to everyone. Some people say, well, I paid for the library that I got with the contact player. Didn't I buy it? No, you didn't. You actually bought the library, but you didn't actually buy the application which hosts the library. The contact player can be obtained for free with a bunch of free sounds. It can also be purchased as a separate library, and the contact player plays that library, but you didn't actually buy the contact application. And that is what this is. This is the full version of contact. So that's what you really need. That's very important. It can be frustrating. I understand it's quite confusing. So let's talk about how to load libraries in to contact six. So one th simple way is just like this. I can just find it on my hard drive, wherever it is, take my instruments folder, open it up, drag an NKI into the browser, and there it is, very simple. Now once I've done that, if you look at the files menu here, we have an option to load. Another way you could do it is just go to the files menu, hit load, and then navigate to that folder where your library is. So mine's on the desktop. And there's the instruments. And you can just double click on tremolo, for example, mandolin tremolo, and that'll load it. So now I have two instruments loaded. So that's method number two. Also notice in the files menu at the top, it says load recent. So since I just loaded that, that is still there. So if I go to work on this project the next day and I need that, I can just go to load recent, click on it, it'll load it automatically, and it'll load a list of libraries that you recently loaded from that menu, or even dragged it in. So that's method number two. Let's get rid of these instruments and show you another method. Number three, is called Quick Load. And you can access that through this icon up here. Notice it says Quick Load, or you can hit Command F. I'll do Command F to be more efficient. Notice at the bottom it opens a browser. The browser is not nearly as sexy looking as this browser here on the left, but it basically functions the same way. The browser on the left is for encrypted libraries that developers have paid native instruments, you know, a fair chunk of change to be in this column. But personally, I've chosen not to do that as of yet. So what we can do is we can just go to the Instruments folder here, 
that we extracted and just drag that entire folder over here to quick load. Notice now it says instruments. When I click on that to the right, it shows me my pure mandolin instruments. Instruments is not very descriptive. So what I can do is I can rename that. I could just call that Mando Boulder. And there it is. So how do you load them? Well, you can drag them into the rack like that. You could double click. Okay, so, so it's a very functional browser, not a whole lot different than the browser on the left. But just remember, don't use the add libraries function over here that you might be used to using with encrypted libraries. You want to use one of these three methods that I've already shown you. Um, there's one other way to do it, but personally I don't use it very much. You could go over here in contact to the files section, and this shows you files on your computer. It's basically a browser of your computer setup. Uh, personally, I find that one to be somewhat cumbersome to use, so I generally don't use it. So there's really four methods you can load these third-party libraries, not only my own, but many others. And, uh, you know, if you're real serious about the world of sampling and sample libraries, it really pays to get the full version, the full retail version of Contact, because you have all these other sounds available to you that otherwise would not be available. And a lot of people say to me, well, $400, that's a lot of money for contact. Yeah, it's a lot of money, but uh, first of all, Native Instruments has sales a couple times a year. Sometimes you can get them as much as 50% off to get the full version of contact. Also, if you buy an encrypted library, one of these libraries on the left here, a lot of times Native Instruments will have an upgrade path to upgrade to the full version of contact at a very good discount. So I hope that clears things up for you. And... Um, Thanks for watching and best wishes to you.